So, how do we use sound in ActionScript 3.0? So, all you have to do is create an ActionScript 3.0 file, and I'll just simply create a button with a linear gradient like that. Press F, and I'll use the gradient transform tool and basically we've designed our button all we have to do is add our text in there saying play sound okay now I'm gonna nudge this across well you can uh, just align it like so and we can just select over this press F8 convert this to a movie clip we can just say play sound doesn't really matter what you call it, but this does. So I'm going to say play sound. I'm going to copy that. Change this to buttons. Add a new layer. AS. And I'm going to lock that layer. And we're going to set this up. So I'm simply going to say sound dot add event. event listener it's going to be a mouse event uh, dot mouse over let's just scan through down here uh, mouse over then we assign a name to this event listener okay uh, so Make sure it's not the same as the instance, okay? Play sound now. Alright, and uh, just to make sure. And then all we have to do is attach a function to this. So we're going to set function. And this is going to be an event. Comma. And then I say mouse. And please don't say motion event. I've done that so many times. Say mouse event. Okay. Now all we have to do is uh, import the sound now. So the function's all set up. All we have to do now is in between these two curly brackets, all we just have to do is import the sound. So go file, import, and then import to library. I'm going to say in a heartbeat. This is the sound file that I want. Open that up go to your library press F11 or go to window library and once you do that you have the sound wave right click on it or if you're on a Mac command click and say linkage say export for action script and we'll say sound one click OK you'll get an error message ignore it it doesn't matter Go back to the action script panel. Oops. Put that back where it was. Just go back to your action script panel and say to this var channel or whatever you want to call it, and we say sound channel equals new sound one which is the linkage name that we just gave it and we say dot play and so uh, there you have it now we can check this no action script errors that's good I'm going to turn up the volume hopefully we won't get any errors and when we roll over this button you notice every time I roll over it it's um, it's playing the sound over and over again 
um, which is the problem with this new sound operation but unfortunately I don't know a way of darting around that okay but that's a way to do it and uh, it's not by any means this person that sent me this email asking me to answer their question it's not by any means Dreamweaver and linking to mp3s externally is more difficult and it's also uh, much more complicated and that's that download you keep seeing hopefully you're downloading the mp3 and that's not what you want um, so this hopefully will cure the problem okay so there you have it and enjoy your action scripting